So unless you've been living under a rock for the last six weeks, you have undoubtedly heard about the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard defamation trial. Full disclosure, in this video, I'm not going to get into the particulars of the trial. I'm simply here to educate you on one part of the trial that is technology related, so you can better understand some of the testimony. One of the evidentiary issues in the trial was the implication that Ms. Heard supposedly had photos on her cell phones and or laptop computers that never made it to the courtroom as evidence. Ms. Heard had said on the stand that she turned over everything to her lawyers, but for some reason, not all of it made it into evidence. One supposition is that the missing photos might have stored electronic data in them that could potentially have harmed her case. This stored photo data is what's known as EXIF metadata. So what exactly is EXIF metadata? EXIF stands for Exchangeable Image File Format. Simply put, it is the what, when, and how of a particular photo. And sometimes it's also the where. And this is where many people think the alleged missing photo conspiracy begins. Let me explain. So as you can see by the random image here, the only EXIF data that is visible in this standard photo is the original timestamp, the path of the photo on a phone or computer, the original file name, file size, file type, and resolution in height and width, copyright holder if any, as well as the type of device used to take the photo. However, many people also have location services enabled on their phones or computer, and this information automatically gets embedded into the EXIF metadata when that photo is taken. As you can see by this random example below, you can clearly see the exact GPS coordinates of the location where this photo was taken. If one were to have a photo with this additional information embedded into that image, that would either disprove their testimony about their location at that exact moment, or prove that they were at a particular location on a particular date at a particular time, you can see how this EXIF metadata could be potentially damaging. If you would like to watch the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial in its entirety, I highly recommend you check out my friend Emily D. Baker's YouTube channel. She has covered the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard defamation trial from beginning to end, as well as many other pop culture stories in the news. I'll put a link to her channel in the description down below. I hope this information helped explain to you what is actually hidden behind every photo you take. I'd love your feedback and questions if you have any, so please comment below. And as always, thanks so much for watching.